Greetings and salutations. The reason I'm making this video is very simple. A lot of people out there asking me regarding TRT. With over 120 cycles of steroids, perhaps I have a few things to say regarding using testosterone as a replacement therapy. The first thing I want to say is, do you know anything about epigenetics? So the question is, are you able to change the makeup of your body, the genetic makeup of your body, by doing outside things, by acting or behaving or taking in or putting anything in your body that will affect your body genetically and then eventually that action will turn out to have an effect on your genetics? And the answer by today's science is yes. That will happen regardless. Now, here's the thing, right? I want you to remember this. If you are going to think, well, well, wait a minute, you know, my testosterone levels are low and I need to have some action. I need to have some outside test put into my body so I can have my body levels of testosterone back up to what they used to be when I was 20. Well, that is okay, but here's the thing. There's a lot of guys out there, and if you're 20 or 25, and your test levels are low, you know what I'm talking about. It's not age mandatory anymore. You're not saying, well, you know, because you are over 50 or because you're over 30. Once your body, and here's the thing, if you're not inflamed, once your body reaches a certain level of production of testosterone, and that is a decline along the years, it stops declining. But the problem is, if you are inflamed, if your system is all fucked up, if you got problems, then your test levels will continue to go down even though they are not supposed to. Did you know that they are supposed to stay leveled all the way to the 70s and 80s after a certain time? I bet you you didn't know, but we have pure science to prove that today. If you have a situation where your body is not producing testosterone at the rate it should be, you need to look today after all that happened in the last three years because of pandemics, C-19, because it's COVID-19, and the vaccinations and all that stuff, no matter what your status is, you need to check your systems to make sure you're not inflamed. Myocarditis is killing people every day now more than ever. And, you know, a lot of both sides, on one side, the vaxxed, and no, I'm not vaxxed, okay? Never took it. But I'm not here to point fingers. I'm here to tell you that you need to check out and make sure that even if you are not vaxxed, that your coronaries and your heart system and everything else is in order. If your testosterone levels are low, you need to make sure that you understand why before taking any outside hormones and putting them inside of your body. Now, a lot of doctors out there would like to go through the fast-paced program, which is they will analyze your lab work and they will say, "No, you, you know, you have, you need to, you need to make sure that we get some tests in there and blah 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 and all that." Now. According to the book, right, by the book, it is okay. But the problem is, if you're going to mess with outside tests, you need to make sure you know, you understand that you are producing the most that you can be producing at your age, but most importantly, not only at the age, but at your status of health. Meaning, are you non-inflamed enough to produce the tests that you need to produce in order to be normal. Now, before you go any further saying, well, I just want a shot, you should really find out what the hell may be going on with your system. We got guys nowadays, 22, 23 years old, and, and, and these guys, they have a testosterone level way down there as if you were 70 years old. 
If your test levels are down at, 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 at you know, you're 23 years old and, and you have test levels that a, a seven-year-old guy would have, then you, you have no reason to think that something is not wrong with you. Something's definitely wrong with you. Now, just going and injecting some testosterone into your body without finding out the reason why you're not producing your own when you should be, it's way out of line. It's, uh, it's insane. You, it makes no sense at all. Now, one thing you need to know is this. I have extensive experience with anabolic steroids. I have extensive experience with using testosterone, with using SARMs, and using peptides. And today, after all the shit that happened in the last three years, I can tell you one thing. Before you put one ounce of test in your body, and by an ounce I mean obviously I don't think you should put an ounce of test in your body, is you need to find out how your whole complete system is, including the levels of calcium in your coronaries. Now, it's very important you understand why is it that you need to do that. It's very important that you read about it. It's very important that you ask for our PDF. We have a PDF, I made a PDF specifically to explain why you need to know the reasons this shit could be happening to you. Now, I'm 59 years old, I take absolutely Zero, no test at all. Now, I have no problems, no problems at all. I lift weights every freaky day nonstop. And here's another thing too you need to realize, you know, you need to look very closely on how you train and why you, you train the way you do and the way you eat and your nutrition and everything else you do, including your sleep cycles, your melatonin levels, Everything needs to be put together before you say, I need test. Because I'll tell you one thing, if your system is all messed up, if your system is completely inflamed inside, and you go and you inject, you are going to have a major problem. You are going to inflame your system even more. Now, if your system is not ready for this, why would you do that without checking everything else? Now, one key issue is here, no one that I hear is talking about epigenetics. I hear doctors every day talking about how you eat and how you should do this and that and the other and how, you know, even a, a, a guy that I, you know, I respect a lot, but, you know, I think sometimes he goes overboard in trying to prove a point about TRT. The thing is, if you are inflamed, you should not do anything to your system. And... Normal lab work is not going to show everything you need to know. Normal lab work is only going to show a little bit. You need to go further and ask for exams that show the whole complete picture, including how your genetics are. I tell this to guys all the time who want to do cycles with Diana Ball and T and all the other stuff. And I have extensive, extensive experience with doing all these cycles. I've done them all. Hey, I have been taking testosterone and all kinds of steroids. And I started taking them when I was 19 years old. I'm 59. I stopped taking anabolic steroids for a very single reason. They will fuck you up. Period. End of story. Now, they may be the greatest thing you think they are for this and that and the other, but today, in 2023, we have better techniques and better chemistry. Unless you are a competing bodybuilder that needs to go to extremes, there is absolutely no reason why you should take any anabolic steroids. Now, the thing is, going even further, there is no reason why you should do any TRT. You should be able today to bring back up your production way and further and beyond than your normal wage, meaning at 45, 50, 55, you can bring your level of testosterone back to what you had when you were 25. No, no, it's, we're not talking herbs, meaning not with anabolic steroids. You can have other techniques that will bring back your levels of testosterone to what you used to have when you were 25 years old. And if you are 25 and your levels of testosterone are low, you need to make sure 
you find everything out you can about your body and the reason why they're low. And if you're 40 or 50 or 60 or 70, it's the same thing. Epigenetics today in 2023 rules. It dictates how you should behave. And if you don't know anything about epigenetics and you're hearing doctors talking about anything but epigenetics for your system, you better run away. Millions of years brought us here the way we are today with this shape, with this body, with this biological system. And if you know about this and you know about epigenetics, then you know that you can manipulate your body to do whatever you want by pushing the right epigenetic keys. Now, if you are not familiar with this, then you should definitely ask for our PDF. Our ebook is free. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll be able to learn. And I suggest you get to know your system. You get to know your body because I'll tell you one thing. I've seen bodybuilders and when I started working out and you can see I have over a thousand videos in this channel. And you, you, one thing you need to know is when I started working out back in the 80s, I mean, we were doing everything. We were absolutely doing every single freaky cycle that you could possibly do. And throughout the years, I started not only to learn, but also to suffer the consequences. And many of those guys, including a lot of guys I used to work out with back in the 80s over at Dixie Gym and all the other gyms that I went to, including Gold's Gym in California and Venice Beach, all those guys that I knew back then, they are not here anymore. I'm 59. I know what I'm talking about by experience, by experimenting, and by the results. And I'll tell you today, in 2023, we're fortunate. We have many different possibilities without the use of any anabolic steroids. I'm Rich Villoa. I bring to you the truth the way it is. No matter what, you better learn, or the price is high. Peace.